Good day all. Uh, today we will, uh, you know, you know, maybe we'll go through the build for the uh, the raid ship. But before I'm going to the build itself, I would like to go with you all about the strategy guide that has been released from Kickside before. I think it was during the VXP target, and it will give informations about the ships itself and as well also for the VXP target itself which will give us indications about how the target on uh, the raid it will be not completely uh, let's say the plan for the target how it will be but we know exactly the weakness and uh, uh, the strong part on the uh, on the on the turret itself and as you can see uh, these uh, mine are moving and we have seen it as well also during the VXP target uh, and you can see that it can be avoided by uh, the movements and the positions. So if you are driving perfectly or you are driving uh, or you have the good maneuver, you will be able to avoid them without giving any hit. It have only splash, it have, doesn't have any accuracy, it doesn't have any range and the damage uh, for this one it's ballistic and the other one it's radioactive. And both of them, if you are getting hit by it, it have a high damage. Uh, if we go to the second uh, weapons or second turret, as you can see over here, this is a radioactive damage. It having high splash, it doesn't have any accuracy, and the range is medium. And you can see over here there is a note, and the note uh, uh, will be uh, that if you stay more than two seconds on the target itself, then it will be triggered. So there is a, a delay for firing at your ship for two uh, seconds and you can get the, uh, the advantage by maybe give two three shots to it and then retreat and then go back again and kill it. So maybe in two maneuvers or three maneuvers you will be able to kill it without having any damage. It depends for sure the positions and how it will be but this is so far we are not able to predict because we don't know exactly how the rate target it will be. If we go to the uh, other the other turrets over here, which is the radioactive turret, but that one it have a certain range, so you are able to kill it uh, from a distance, or if you are in the right position, let's say for example it have uh, 45 angles, so if you stop and you can, you know you can have a look, it will be shown the angle for the fire if you just only highlight it by mouse then you can know the angle so you can know exactly where to stop your ships and to avoid uh, getting hit let's go down uh, to this turret as well and you can see this turret as well also it's a ballistic but it have a short range where which meaning that you are able to kill it uh, uh, you know if you are only uh, um, uh, stopping in a distance uh, so maybe on the edge uh, to avoid uh, triggering or to activating the, the turret itself and it will fire at you. So it's it's most probably it's about driving uh, so far. So uh, this turret and the previous one, it was avoidable during the driving part and during the maneuver that you can able uh, to do it. Uh, if we go to these turrets, which is uh, this one and this one, you can see these turrets, it's a ballistic and the other one is radioactive. And both of them uh, uh, are very high uh, uh, accuracy, uh, but it have a medium uh, damage. Uh, sorry, uh, for this one it's a medium damage, but for this one it's having high damage. Uh, these informations will be, you know, give you an idea how to build your, your fleet itself. Uh, I was hesitating at the beginning because I was thinking so many things uh, with the specials, uh, which one items. Maybe at the beginning stage you will be able to clear that you have a firepower, but then once you are going through that one, you will be hesitations because you know that there is an accuracy uh, which you require to have uh, an evade in your ship. And I'll go back to these informations uh, during the build of the ship. Uh, the splash, it doesn't have any splash. so none of these turrets having a splash the only things that the range this one it's having a high max range as well also a short range so if you are uh, in uh, in closer to the turrets you'll be avoiding to be uh, you know to avoid to be having uh, a damage and you'll be killed easily the second one it doesn't have an, a, a, a certain a short and long range it have only a high uh, range as you can see over here the range is high 
and the damage itself is high comparing with that one the damage over here is medium and as well also the health part over here it's high and this one it's medium which meaning that it will be killing faster but that one it will take longer uh, so these turrets need to be killed very fast to avoid getting hit uh, uh, very badly and both of them having very high accuracy if I go back uh, uh, again to this tower it's a buildings you know it will not be giving any harmful you just need to kill it and this is a gate and then we have uh, the wall and that wall that wall it's behind the uh, this weapon let's go back they will be having a weapon so this is the wall if I'm talking about that tourist this is the wall and this is the turret itself and to kill that turret you need to destroy the first the wall so we need to have uh, some special with having high ability to kill the wall properly uh, so this is the the target itself which is the information available from Kixai I will keep this uh, uh, file on the YouTube channel and maybe if you would like to go through it it's up to you maybe you can have a look to it and maybe to read it properly uh, for future uh, hit and read so let's go back again to the ship right now let me enlarge my screen so if I go back again to the ship designers I'm already uh, trying to upgrade my ship right now to uh, because we are in the upgrade mode and right now I'm upgrading from the first U1 to U2 uh building the ship honestly it was really a uh, little bit critical because we don't have uh, the informations for the raid we don't have the informations for what will be the x1 as well also what is the flag it will be but we have some indications about the tools itself for the vxp target which i explained earlier so if we go over here that you can see that uh, the first you want you want it will be just only to add the specials and the special itself having a uh, uh, 10 percent evade as well also if i clear the ship so the ship itself let's go back over here the ship itself if i go over here you can see that it have a 32 percent evade as it is without any special without anything so for me i'm able to uh, prefer to have the limited one it was available during the pillage time as well also in the previous raid if you're not able to get it you can get the normal weapon and maybe add some special uh, if you are able to, to do to get them from the next pillage coming or during the second time of raid itself maybe you can do the refit part so uh, the weapon itself you can see that I have not taken it and I need to maybe in the last yeah you can see here uh, I didn't take the normal weapon uh, because I was focusing to get the limited one and uh, the normal weapon it will be available during the uh, campaign I think maybe next week or the next week after I'm not sure uh, so I didn't focus to spend uh, uh, you know uh, two million points over here but uh, you know I'm sure that many of you have taken it uh, because the the the, v, the special one the limited one it was 22 uh, million points which was not easy to get them uh, but since I'm able to get the uh, limited one I didn't focus to bring it because anyhow I will do the campaign and I'll have it so it's an equal uh, benefits so if you don't have the limited one you can go with that one and the difference over here it's not really much you can see over here it's 1000 and over here it's 900 the other part is the same and you can see it's only 100 uh, but in 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 totals uh, eight weapons uh, it will be uh, 800 difference which sometimes making a difference but uh, it's not an issue really to have the limited weapons so uh, I will put here the limited weapon as to show and once we have the limited weapons I will go to add the special and for the specials we have uh, the you know the engine and you can see the engine as well also the first things it have an evade so we have 18% evade and then we have uh, the battery the ballistic battery 
and then I can go these all three specials it was available during the uh, the village times as well also in rate so this is also uh, you know uh, canon systems which giving uh, the range as well also splash and ballistic damage so these three items are I prefer you know since it came with the ship I prefer to use them uh, and then we have the the special one which is available during the FM target and since it came with the specials I'll it. that one as well also you can see it have an evade and since we have here uh, the evade as you can see 18% and over here 10% uh, it seems to be that you know uh, we require to have an evade otherwise you know it's not so something this is the doubt I have do I keep an evade agility system or uh, hyper 30 uh, because we require to have high speed and uh, uh, for the armors normally uh, I'm not adding any armors to my fleets and I'll keep the armor to be uh, refit during the first day of raid because from the better report I will know which armor to keep but honestly from uh, the reports that I have uh, showing to over here most of the damage it will be uh, taking uh, the radioactive because this one can be uh, avoided by a distance this one it will be if you are in a shorter range it will be uh, uh, having less because you are inside the in closer to it and then it will not be firing at you and even if you are getting a damage from it it's a medium damage but that one which it's having a really high high accuracy as well also long range and it have a shockwave and that's why I prefer to have a radioactive but I'm not going to be uh, uh, in a quick I will leave them empty this is for me but for you if you would like to build them with it you just need to go and add one by one and then maybe if you want to refit you can refit them uh, but for me I will not uh, I will come back to it why I'm not adding the armor but let's go to continue uh, so here we have um, uh, 18 percent we have here 10 percent it seems like that you know they are giving us information to add an evade but it's really unclear information i cannot uh, you know that build it's just only uh, from my knowledge of how it will be but you know sometimes uh, i face the issue that my build was not uh, the right uh, enough and therefore I have uh, to refit it and if I go to the uh, fourth specials it will be uh, uh, another one limited as you can see over here because it have uh, projectile speed and as well so ballistic reload and then uh, this one yeah this one so uh, this one will give me a, a very high uh, damage and you can see so far the damage is 37, uh, 374 uh, and then the ballistic reload and ballistic range and everything so far it's so good now the last one is really the you know the tricky part let me hide this one because maybe on the x1 we will have some evade maybe we will be having some informations we are not sure about it and really if we have here some evade then we need to have specials that will not be affected uh, to have a more firepower because you need to have more firepower to kill the target faster so it's few compromise uh, with evade system over here or evade special you'll be compromised that you will take longer to kill the target and that's why I'm having a doubt about it. Uh, why I'm, I take longer times to uh, to discuss about this target? If I can came over here, the evade it's only 49, which is very low. And if I add, uh, and you can see that before I add this one, I can go and see the movement as well. And you can see the movement; it's 83. If I will add the other specials for killing the target faster, it will be. Uh, it will be this item and you can see over here we have a bonus compact speed 25% but it have other other uh, attack options which will 
it will not affect on the uh, damage type but it will affect on the configurations of my fleet itself which it will give me a better uh, uh, you know critical damage for uh, 148 and critical chance with 55 still the speed if I will uh, go to it it's only 10 uh, uh, you know 10 units so it was 83 and right now 93 uh, does this will uh, affect if I instead of this one I add uh, the agility system or I add if I add the evade over 49 percent as you can see uh, before it was 49 so if I have right now it has been raised up to 74 Uh, percent the evade and the speed itself it's 93 why if I go and change the evade to a limited over here which is hyper 30 and you can see over here the evade it's already 64 and the movement it's 95 so honestly it's really uh, that last specials it's really uh, annoying to avoid refit uh, on the coming I can take it out uh, to finish uh, the build itself and one day it will be uh, more than enough for me I will keep it as it is this is my build it will be I will go with this one without uh, uh, the, uh, the 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 armors and without the last specials I'll keep it during the raid to add them we will be having 10 days uh, tokens on the raid to build them and even if you have uh, I will focus to do the upgrade and I will keep this one as it is like this one until uh, we will be having informations uh, during the raid about the X one and that one it will save me sometimes because right now it's nine day and five hours if I will add the armors let's say one by one and I will add let's say the not the uh, scrambles I'll add the the ballistic this one for example from nine days I'm jumping to 13 and 12 days which is three days for building the ships or three days to do the tokens uh, so instead of refitting them in the in the comings I will focus to keep them empty having a short time to build them so I will be having enough time to uh, upgrade uh, uh, my ship because I'm saving three days so this is what I prefer uh, I will go with it and on the on the day of the raid we will immediately know from the target itself do we add evade because of the accuracy of the turrets or to add uh, uh, more power damage and speed uh, to kill it uh, if you want to save up times you can take up this build or if you would like to have the chance you can add the armors and add uh, the one that maybe most of you have added which is this one uh, and then you can do the refit it's up to you I will just only uh, sharing with you the information according what I'm doing so this is my final build which I will follow I will focus upgrading and I'm saving three days in each ship uh, which it will be good uh, to upgrade my my ship itself uh, on the first day I will add the special according to the information that will be from the target as well also on the ship uh, how is the flag how is the x1 uh, this is what I recommend and I hope this will help you all thank you for watching